Bytes.com on that main net has launched as well. I hope you guys are all enjoying it. We waited a couple years for this and it's finally here. Hey everybody and welcome uh, to Hex Token channel, Superman Crypto and today new channel, YouTube channel is tuned in. Uh, big welcome to Pulse Chain channel as well. Uh, we've got three channels up and running, over 10,000 subscribers and a big welcome to you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit the bell. I guess I'll have to uh, update all the moderators about uh, uh, Pulse Chain uh, YouTube channel uh, up and live. So uh, we're going to get into it. So uh, very, very cool. Welcome, of course. Uh, if you are over on Pulse Chain channel and uh, you're seeing this video, uh, don't forget to uh, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for future videos. And I'll be updating all the video descriptions there as we uh, do new live streams um, for the, uh, what am I going to say? For the, uh, <laughs> to uh, join our Discord. So it's going to be really cool. Let's see who's in the house. Got a few people. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, we've got uh, Lies Beneath in the house, always. How are you today? Very, very good, of course. Uh, we've got the, the ultimate golden strategy of Richard Hart, Hex, E-Hex, PLS, and PLSX in the center for the win, 100%. And obviously, we've got big news today, great news around PulseX news, uh, aggregated router routing across PulseX V1 and V2 on Pulse Chain. So we're going to talk about that too. It is a beautifully sunny day here in New Zealand at the bottom of the world. And of course, uh, it is about 20 to 12, uh, Friday the 8th of September. So we're going to uh, get into it here. We're in the future, obviously. So uh, big, big deal. We got Sandy Beach in there with the uh, health and fitness updates on Sandy Beach on Twitter X. Uh, so definitely check out uh, Sandy Beach there. Uh, wow, wow, wow. And we got Joey Torres as well. Hi, all good to see you, Joey. Uh, in fact, I'm doing my uh, my walk number 46 today, I believe. 46, can you believe it? On the target of 300. So we're slowly creeping up there. Uh, welcome to the channel, Joey, and we've got uh, Hexcavator as well. Woo! Good to see Hexcavator. Wookie's in the house as well. Wookie thinks p to the moon. Yeah, p is definitely running up. We're going to be talking about p and Anatropa uh, later in the live stream when we look at PRC20s. Uh, Wookie says there ain't no party like a p party. That, that, that actually makes sense, Wookie. I'm starting to understand you. Uh, this is amazing. It's a, it's a, it's a miracle. Uh, what else we got? Um, we got... Hex Creator says the party has started, it has indeed. We got Christian in the house as well. Yo, yo, yo. Are we late? Lot? No, you're not late. Uh, I was a late a bit, probably, uh, but you're not late. Um, we got Jenna in the house as well. Hi, everybody. Good to see Jenny. We got Pumpkin Al as well. <laughs> uh, welcome to the chat there. Uh, please post it, uh, Hex Token. Oh, the Pulse Chain YouTube. Yeah, I need to do that. Just uh, let me find that actually. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, pull it up on another, another channel. So let me. Uh, let me have a look at that. So this is my old BitFury channel. So if you're on there on BitFury, uh, this is now, I've been changed to Pulse Chain. So I've rechanged the brand on the old BitFury channel. Uh, so let me just check it out. If you want to subscribe to it, smash the subscribe button. Uh, we'll help it get to uh, back to 500. It used to be over 500 subscribers, sitting about 480 or something like that, if I remember rightly. Um, so definitely uh, check that out. Uh, let me have a look here down uh yeah 482 subscribers so i only need 18 more to get to the 500 that's what you need to uh, get it monetized so definitely smash the like if you like and let me go to the channel there i'm going to post that in in the chat there as well so we just need 18 people to subscribe to that and we'll be back over 500 so it'll be pretty cool all right uh where's that link that is the link there so uh oh, listen, here it is yeah that is the link to uh, pulse chain uh, let me put that one up there. There we are. That is the Pulse Chain uh, YouTube channel link. Smash that uh, up as well. 482 subscribers over there. Let's see if we can get over 500. Very, very, very cool. Uh, who else has jumped in here? Uh, we've got uh, stack, uh, High Stakes X. Uh, Superman, how you doing, brother? How are the walks going? Very good. Yeah, did 40 day, 45 yesterday. Uh, keep them up. Hearing how consistent you have been motivates me to exercise. So that's awesome, man. Uh, big shout out. And of course, my inspiration is coming from Sandy Beach. Uh, so it's good to be able to inspire, you know, everybody inspires, inspires each other. Uh, and that's a really good way of, uh, you know, getting healthy and fitness. And of course, enjoying uh, crypto, get to enjoy crypto a lot more. Uh, Pudding Guru as well. Morning all, good to see you, Pudding Guru. Welcome to the house. And we've got Blair's SM as well. I'm going to have to uh, get the moderators over on um, uh, on the new Pulse Chain YouTube channel. 
Um, so I'll have to get them. I'm going to upload a lot of different Pulse Gen stuff up over there, um, little clips and things like that. And I think it's going to be a good, good place for that. Hex Mum in the house there. Good evening, all. Hey, Hex Mum. Welcome to the chat. Uh, yay, Hex Mum is here. Never fear. We got Pudding Guru as well. Hello, Pudding Guru. Welcome to you as well. Uh, Miles of Crypto, sup, homies. Good to see you, Miles. Uh, we've got some subscribers there on a good old Pulse Chain YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe. You'll see there's no videos. There. I've, I've hidden all the old videos. Uh, we'll be going to be doing a whole ton of new videos uh, on Pulse Chain and things like that. So uh, it's going to be good. Uh, what else there? Uh, Pudding Guru says one less subscriber required now. Nice one, Pudding Guru. Appreciate that. Uh, Wookie says, Wookie is everywhere. You are indeed. Uh, we got Robbie as well. Robbie Creeks. Woohoo. Good to see you, Robbie. Welcome to the chat. Uh, who else is there? Harry Williams. Good to see Harry. Man, we've got lots of people in today. It's really nice to see a lot of names that I haven't seen for a little while. So great, great, great. Uh, what's the new uh, new channel? It is a Pulse Chain. It's called Pulse Chain. Uh, that is the new channel. It's a, it's a rebranded channel. So it's a channel I've had for a while. Uh, it's just been sitting idle. Uh, but it used to be a BitFury, a BitFury uh, channel. Uh, if you know BitFury, one of the biggest uh, crypto casinos. Uh, that is now switched completely over to Pulse Chain. All the uh, old videos have been hidden there. Uh, what else we got going on there? Uh, we got uh, Sandy Beach says, I'm everywhere too. You are indeed, you are indeed. Uh, ready to observe and learn. Sweet man says, Valiant Lucky, hey, welcome to the chat, and always an honor to have you here. All right, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, let's rock and roll. And uh, let me just get out of some of these uh, other ones here. I was watching a, a video on some people helping uh, some children, which was kind of nice. It was a very nice video. Very heartwarming uh, video. Let's get into some of the news about Richard Hart. We're going to kick off with that. So let me just cue things up. Uh, let us have a look here. So Richard Hart has been posting a lot of um, a lot of cool things. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Let's pull it up. Yeah, where am I going? Right there. Bam. Uh, we'll get rid of that. And we're going to add in the share screen. Uh, let's pull it up. So Richard Hart's been posting some things uh, around legal activity. So obviously uh, moving on the front foot uh, versus the SEC is our guess based on these. Uh, and uh, he's got here, there's a post that Richard put out, crypto lawyers out there aren't using all the defenses available to them. I came up with these uh, these ideas to help them as blockchains are communication networks that are protected by section 230. It's 230, of course, has been a controversial uh, controversial uh, section here. It takes a lot of the tech companies. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's interesting. And there's lots of other theories and case law I've found to help you guys out there. It's important to use all of the defenses available to you. Shout out to XRP and Coinbase for fighting the good fight for freedom. And then he's listed a whole ton of a different uh, uh, different defenses that you could have uh, under free freedom of speech and expression. And he's got a, a fine list there as well. A lot of them are versus the SEC too. So it was a pretty good tweet here, nicely laid out. And I like this. It looks like he's going to put up the good fight from the looks of it. Um, so uh, they're going to sort of answer some of those questions. You should also notice the defenses Coinbase is using. Failure to state uh, a claim, no authority to regulate. Major questions, uh, doctrine, uh, wallets aren't brokers. Abuse of discretion, equitable, equitable estoppel, uh, unclean hands, latches. You should also be noticed, be noticed the tor uh, tors, Tories are ruling in XRP favour and that the judge, Catherine Polk, uh, ruling in favour, uh, in Uniswap's favour as well. She is also the judge in the Coinbase case. Uh, there's more defences not here, and this should be a great help to you find legal folks out there. Blockchains are speech. You do the math. You publish it. Uh, someone else checks your math. So peer-to-peer, -peer, secure removing a middle a man for a decade and replacing trust with mathematical proof. Uh, many powerful quotes exist in these cases, which would be quite useful for public commenting, periods and in defense of citizens uh, constitutional rights elsewhere so uh this looks uh, maybe part of his uh his defense so uh it's gonna be interesting to see certainly going on the front foot and i like that i like this i actually personally i like this so we'll see where it all ends up there then he posted out some other things uh related on that too visualizations and carolizations make it easy for uh, more leaves to grow on the branches in your mind this is the same text but so much easier to understand with the indentations uh, more easily viewed. And of course, he breaks it down uh, by different categories, privacy rights, freedom of association, limits on ACC power, etc. And he goes through the whole list, which I thought was a really, really nice way of organizing that. 
uh, which is pretty cool. Did I retweet that? Yeah, so I did. So that is the link to those tweets. I'll paste the copy in the chat there if you guys want to check it out uh, on Rich's tweets. Uh, let me just uh, post that. Uh, that is the link there. Bam. And you can see it on all the three different YouTube channels. So check those all out. And, of course, the big one for today uh, is uh, related to Pulse Chain is the Pulsex. So uh, seven hours ago, we got great Pulsex news. And, of course, that's the title of today's video. Uh, Ad-graded routing across V1 and V2 has been cited on a mainnet. So uh, V1 and V2, of course, is Pulsex, uh, the two different versions. They have slightly different uh, uh, mechanisms in them, particularly in terms of buy and burn, uh, has been cited on mainnet, mainnet being Pulse Chain, of course, and, of course, you can see a picture of the image, and you can see the routing down the bottom here, which is pretty cool. So we're going to have a look at that now. Uh, that is the big news. How many views he has had on that? He's had 80,000, 78,000 views on that already in seven hours. So that's very, very popular. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, the actual Pulsex and see what that means. So uh, if you uh, – typically, you might have uh, routing, auto routing not showing. So typically, it might look like this. Uh, you might have V1 and V2 up the right here. Now remember that used to be at the top of the uh, top of up, up here. It used to be up here V1 and V2. Uh, that has now been moved down into the swapping box, uh, and of course you have this chart as well. So this you might have a view just looks like this. You got V1, V2, and then you have got the chart. So if you click on the chart, it's going to open up the chart on the left hand side, uh, and of course you can see that V1 and V2 are still in the swapping box. Now you can't get any routing. So if you put in the price, so it's going to give you a straight price price based on being on V1. If you jump to V2, it's going to be a price based on that, based on uh, this. But if you go uh, to the cogs, so the cogs up here on the front right, click on that and click auto router. And it's going to give you a little question mark there. Switch between auto router and legacy routing. Uh, legacy being older, the older version. Uh, click on there. That's going to be toggled on. And you can then go and see that a few changes have happened. And what's happened? V1 and 2 have, has, has gone. Uh, and now the chart also now chart, chart breaks down V1 and V2 charts. So uh, there we are for the same token pair, right? This is Pulse and Pulsex. Uh, and so, yeah, and you still got all the same features, right? Other than this being added. The other thing, of course, is that uh, when you go to do a, a swap, um, you will have, let's do Pulse and Pulsex, for example. Now, it will depend on the pair that you're trading, how, whether it's going through V1, V2 or something like that, a combination. Um, so uh, you have to then click on uh, the down arrow here and you'll see uh, the network fee, the price impact, the expected output, minimum received. But down here is the auto router. So this is the button here. You just want to click on that and it's going to show you the routing route that's going to be going uh, from Pulse uh, to PulseX and to give you your PulseX on the other side. So that is a very simple uh, router. But if you had something more exotic and maybe a more exotic pair, uh, it might be do something different. So if we went to... Uh, if we went to something like, I don't know, uh, uh, we've got so much stuff here to choose from. Let's go to Kira, for example. I don't know what this is going to do, but uh, Pulse to Kira. Let's see whether this gives us a different routing route between V1 and V2. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Uh, let's have a look. So there on the router, go click on that. Uh, still V1 on this one. So let's try to find something a bit more interesting, maybe P uh, Pulse Dodge or something. Uh, let's try this one, Pulse Dodge. See if it gives us uh, a bit more interesting routing here. So have a quick look at that. One moment, please. One moment, caller. Uh, and then we'll click on there. Uh, this one's still V1. I was trying to get something with V2 on it, uh, but maybe if we've got something else here. Uh, let's do what we're going to do here. Oh, so better not show that. <laughs> let's go... Uh, let's go uh, some Prate maybe. Uh, maybe Prate will work. Let's have a look. Prate to PLD. Uh, let's have a look. So it will just depend on the on the pairs that you're matching up or what route it will go through. Uh, here we are. This is cool. So this is what I was after. We got a V1 route. Thirty percent is going to go through V1. Uh, and 70% is going to go V2. How, how cool is that? So that's pretty neat on that. So that's uh, using tokens, Prate and PLD. So not so common like Pulse and Pulse X, um, but that's the kind of idea, right? Uh, so really cool. And of course, the, the route, the, the auto routing optimizes the rate that you get. So it's going to get you the best rate uh, that it can find. 
So that's really cool that we've got that uh, auto routing working on the Alcross V1 and V2. Uh, the route optimizes your total output for considering split routes, multiple hops, and the gas cost of each step. So uh, that's kind of cool, auto doing that for you. Now, obviously, we have also have DEX aggregators like Tatias out there, Portal X. So uh, there's other op op excuse me, options in PHUX, for example. There's a couple. We also have, uh, you know, um, we have a few other other uh, yield farming swapping options as well. They're typically probably not as efficient as those three that I just named. So that is pretty cool. Uh, good to see it on uh, Pulse X. Uh, so that is the cool news from Richard. So a good start to the day, I think, uh, on the old Pulse X, uh, which leads us into our normal news. So we're going to get into the stock market quickly before we get into crypto again. Uh, that is Richard Hart, the founder of Pulse Pulse X. Uh, up with those updates now uh the stock market we've got uh the dow jones is up a little bit there about uh, two tenths of a percent uh so that's good news that dow jones member is the top industrials top 30 industrials in the united states and the p 500 is down uh, three tenths of a percent and the nasdaq with all the tech companies in it is down nine tenths of a percent so a bit of a down day uh, for the tech sector uh what's interesting is that uh the commodities let's have a look at the commodities uh, we've got uh, oil, barrel oil at the moment has dropped a little bit there, uh, down to 68 to $89 uh, for West Texas and Brent oil. Uh, gold is uh, sitting uh, still around about uh, $1,950, so 1943 And, of course, silver there, $23.24. So a little bit of uh, up a little bit at the moment, a little bit of weakening over the last couple of days, uh, but very small. Now, the, the big news, of course, is around federal the Federal Reserve and their rate hikes. Um, sentiment has been hit this week by concerns that recent stronger than expected economic data and rising oil prices will prompt the U.S. Federal Reserve to keep interest rates higher for longer. Now, we kind of still expected that for higher for longer. Uh, new jobless claims uh, came in lower than expected at 216 last week. Uh, they had been expected to rise to, to 235,000 from 228,000 the prior week. So uh, that was kind of, I uh, guess, uh, a bit of a, a, a miss. Uh, the Fed has been closely watching the labor market for signs that the tightening conditions are easing, uh, something it wants to see to prove its inflation fighting efforts are working. Uh, so it's, you know, it's uh, uh, inflation uh, trade off to, to, to jobs, right? Um, so lower inflation uh, and uh, more pain in the jobs market. Not much fun for the average person, right? <laughs> um, uh, they would say it's a greater good, though. Inflation is a greater good than job losses, um, part of the sectors. So that's kind of where they would argue. Uh, there are also a number of Federal Reserve officials due to speak on Thursday at a fintech conference hosted by Fully Fed, and their comments are bound to be studied for monetary policy clues ahead of entering the blackout period that precedes each policy meeting. Data released Wednesday showed the U.S. service sector, which makes up more than two-thirds of the American economy, unexpectedly accelerated in August, hitting a six-month high. Input costs paid by these businesses also rose, no surprise. As the, as the same At the same time, crude prices have risen to the highest level this year, stoking concerns about the cost of energy and its effect on inflation, again having an impact on inflation going forward. According to Investments.com Rate Monitor, the probability uh, that America's central bank will choose to raise rates at its November meeting now stands at 43%, uh, up from 39%. So that's got stronger uh, from the day prior. Let's have a quick look at where that is at the moment. Uh, so September still expected to be a no change. Uh, so that is 94%. And so, uh, but uh, November's, uh, November's meeting starting to wrap, ratchet up there. So we'll see a bit of a question mark of that. We were hoping we got the rid of the terminal rate at 5.5. Uh, but at the moment, maybe the, if uh, it keeps swinging uh, the wrong way in the, for November, we might get a rate rise to 5.75, which is more pain for the real economy. Uh, and hopefully we can avoid that and get a soft landing. So that is uh, the stock market. Let's get into crypto. Uh, crypto at the moment is $26,233 for Bitcoin. Uh, that's up 1.8%. So nice green little crypto dashboard today. Uh, we've got the ETH there at $16.47, up 8 tenths of a percent. Uh, BNB is up almost uh, 9 tenths of a percent at $216, $217. Those are kind of the standout uh, performers there uh, in terms of the majors. Uh, we do have this thing pop up here called Dora. It's up 50% at $3.13. I have no idea what that is, but that's showing up pretty green there today under other tokens. Uh, that's pretty much it. Matic is down a little bit and Shib is down a little bit. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty green across the board, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, what have we got coming up, right? So uh, I say, said this last couple of days, uh, ETH, uh, we've got uh, the ETF potentially. Uh, we've got uh, 
We've got Protodank Sharding that's sort of on the horizon for this year uh, for Ethereum, October uh, and maybe November, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, we've also got, obviously, for next year, uh, we've got uh, the uh, we've got uh, Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin spot uh, uh, ETF, and of course uh, we've got uh, the halvening coming out for next year. So those kind of the uh, bullet, big bullish things for the two big chains, which leads us on into Pulse Chain Pulse Gains. Uh, we've got Pulse Chain at the moment quadruple zero three nine six, so pretty much hovering around this four thousand mark, right? So we've kind of been consolidating around plus or minus around this four thousand mark. Uh, which is about 40% of the sacrifice price. We're down about seven tenths of a percent today. We were up slightly green yesterday, and that yesterday was not too bad, but it's come down a bit. And this is our chart at the moment. But we have got a nice little bullish doji, and that's about to close, and it's closing over the 50% on the Bollinger Bands too. So that's kind of good news uh, for the old Pulse Chain. Not looking so bad after all, or despite the volatility we had over the last 24 hours. You can see the little wick down, and we got all the way down to 3,800. Uh, bounced off that, and we've got 3958. So looking not too bad is the old Pulse chain there, despite uh, the slight down at the moment in the price. Uh, moving to PulseX, which is obviously benefited from this uh, auto routing. Uh, no big move in the price uh, price from, from that news. Uh, down 1.5% at the moment. We're sitting at quadruple zero one oh four, uh, and of course uh, that's a you know a 10 percent of the sacrifice price, dramatic and below the biggest whales uh, sacrifice prices as well. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, what's that, 50% below, something like that. Uh, we've got one pulse equals 3.8 pulse X at the moment. Uh, so pulse versus pulse X even stronger, uh, what, 3.8, so looking pretty good. Heading towards that four mark again, which we did see during the launch phase, uh, so pretty crazy stuff. Uh, we've got the buy and burn is getting there. Look at this. Woo-hoo-hoo! 398.5 billion uh, pulse X is being bought and burned. So even though that's not impacting the price at the moment, it is going to have a big, a more important play further down the track. And uh, think of it like this. Think of it like uh, uh, we get into a bull market, we get a demand coming in, and of course demand, and we've got less supply around, less supply in the public hands. So it's kind of the idea, uh, more demand, less supply, uh, and that, that is more probability for a, a nice uh, further rally, right? So, uh, And we see that some people, they sell out their, their positions uh, in the bear market. They get flooded out as well. Uh, some of them just trade themselves out, uh, lots of different things like that. And then, of course, uh, you know, so people that are accumulating the large volumes, a lot of the retail book are getting, uh, you know, uh, levels that sacrifice whales uh, were getting or better in Pulse X. Um, so with the retail books being able to get amazing rates from that point of view. And uh, I heard someone else the other day came into the chat was saying, yeah, I had 150 million or something in the sacrifice. Now I've got over a billion. Um, so, uh, you know, it really is going to be a game changer. Uh, for those that are looking into the future uh, and uh, believe in the Pulse Chain, which is uh, is all of us here, uh, no doubt. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we got incentive token as well, dollar thirteen down one, uh, is actually up one percent, I should say. Uh, the ratio there is sitting at twenty eight thousand six hundred eighty five Pulse per one incentive. We've got ten million incentive tokens in existence, and we've had sixty six thousand burn through the TRH protocol, which is now back on track, right, uh, with the patch from yesterday or the day before. Was it yesterday? I can't remember. No, I think it was yesterday. So we've got Pulse X here at the moment, uh, just dropping around the bottom, just moving around the bottom here at uh, 4,000, basically. Uh, and then we've got incentive token now. Is, uh, that's $1.13. have had three green days uh, on the price, which is kind of cool. But the ratio itself uh, is on a green day. So a nice little green day today. No one, it's up 1%. Uh, we bottomed down at 27,886. Uh, we're currently at uh, 28,684. So really, really cool. Uh, that's our new bottom, by the way, 27,886. Uh, but we're back, bounced off that at 28,684. So looking good there for uh, the old uh, INC and maybe getting a bit of uh, you know good news there around uh, the Pulse X auto routing helped. Uh, but of course, uh, people still waiting for single side staking. Uh, when will that come? Uh, I think there's... Uh, we've kind of been given a blues clues about Pulse X that there's a lot of th- things in the in the uh, being cooked up, uh, and of course uh, that just came through from I think it was from Coast team uh, made a comment about that in their correspondence uh, with Pulse X. I believe it was Coast. If it wasn't Coast. It was someone like that. Um, but I think that is uh, was pretty cool. All right, so that is uh, Pulse X incentive. Uh, we've got a hex, of course. P hex at the moment is at eight tenths of a penny, uh, and of course uh, we've got E hex at a four tenths of a penny. So E hex is actually up. Uh, one P-Hex will get you 2.02 uh, E-Hex at the moment. 
and one PHEX will get you 204 pulse at the moment. Uh, the combined price of EHEX and PHEX is 1.21 cents. So uh, it's down 2.47% at the moment on 24 hours, but actually holding up pretty nicely at that 1.2 cents. Uh, and you'd be kind of cool if you had to make a move uh, to over 1.5 cents. That'd kind of be the next target one, a 1.6. That'd be pretty neat. So let's have a look at that at PHEX. That's PHEX at the moment. Uh, and we're currently, uh, have we just finished the day? We have. Uh, we've got a brand new candle here at 18th of a penny. Let's see whether we can uh, zoom in on here. We're over the 50% on the Bollinger Band. So it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, so we've got strength, some strength there above the 50% on the Bollinger Band. And, uh, you know, we've got a high low in here as well. Uh, we had not too bad doji candle yesterday. Let's see whether we can uh, get a move higher uh, over the weekend. That'd be pretty neat. So uh, maybe not Sunday. Sunday's a, a really rainy day, but maybe we will. Maybe we will. Who knows? Sometimes we have green days on Sundays. Uh, EHEX there is uh, up at uh, four tenths of a penny, and that's looking much better too. Look at that higher lows, and we're getting a lot more bullish sort of candles, slowly moving. Just a slow grind, isn't it? It's kind of slow grind, but uh, just slowly edging up there, as you can see. All right, I haven't got the combined price up today, which is a bit of the same, but hey, just the way it goes. Uh, <laughs> all right, so what else are we going to say about that? We're going to go to the validators. And have a look at that. Uh, yeah, like I say about this buy and boom, we're almost at 400 billion. So that's going to be a cool thing to tweet out when that does come out. Uh, keep your tabs on that. That's not too far away. They'll be before tomorrow or by tomorrow or something like that. Uh, Valos, a quick look at those. Uh, we're at 39,302. So Valos are starting to creep up again. And maybe we'll start to head back over to all time highs. Uh, we're probably about 260 Valos, something like that, away from all time highs. Uh, so just have to creep up there. And uh, we've currently got 1.26 a trillion pulse off the market. So that can't be sold, uh, which is pretty neat. Remember, there's 15 trillion in total. Uh, and of course, we, this doesn't include the EIP, EIP 1559 burn and all that sort of stuff. So kind of neat. Uh, gas fees still super cheap, of course. Uh, seven tenths of a penny for a pulse X swap. And uh, also uh, five hundredths of a penny for a pulse coin transfer. And one tenth of a penny for a PRC20 uh, transfer at the moment. So pretty cheap on the old pulse chain. We're at around 560,000 beats at the moment. Uh, definitely come off. Uh, we had a higher way earlier in the day, but uh, you know, it's pretty cool now, or at least uh, days ago. We've definitely come down on the way now. Uh, we're 1,115 times cheaper than Ethereum, and of course, 1,183 times cheaper than Bitcoin. And don't forget, not only are we over 1,000 times cheaper than uh, Ethereum, uh, but we've got 17% uh, faster block times as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's kind of leading it for the day. Uh, let's jump over to, that's the end of day 118 for Pulse Chain. I can't believe it. That's amazing. We're going to about to start day 119, which is going to be pretty cool. That leads us into uh, our PRC20 categories. Uh, those are pretty full coverage coverage of Richard Hart. Uh, let's get back into the chat and uh, see where else has jumped in here. Uh, we've been chatting away. We've been chatting away here. Let me just change my studio a little bit. Uh, and come back up here. Uh, did I get to Ivor? Did I? I think I did. Uh, no, I didn't quite get. No, there we are. I got uh, back up here a little bit, a little bit further. Uh, got up to there. Uh, Pulse chain, Pulse gains is Brennan. I think yeah, that's where I got up to. We got Ivor in house as well. Morning all. Good to see you, Ivor. Welcome. Uh, who else? Uh, Christian says Richard might be getting ready for the ultimate battle. Let's go. Yeah, well, we're expecting that in uh, October. Yeah, October. October. I'm losing it. No, November. 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 Yeah, 28th of November, I think it is. Uh, but there is a, a meeting 10 working days prior, isn't there, uh, between councils. Uh, Brian's in house there. What's up, folks? Good to see Brian. Ashtray as well. Howdy all. I like the top hat, the hat, top hat there, uh, uh, the Ashtray. It reminds me of Richard's old top hat. Uh, Brian's in the house as well. One of our two community leaders. Sup, sup. Cool kids, good to see you, Brian. Uh, we've got Hedgehog as well. Woohoo! Good to see you, Hedgehog. And uh, Christian says, I believe when RH wins this case, we will see RH coins go to the moon. Ivor says, They are saying today that Richard has not been served. That's correct. Uh, yeah, I said that yesterday, I think. Uh, the case needs to be served in person and you cannot serve individual electronically. Well, they can if they have failed to uh, exhaust all options and go back to the court and uh, and say that uh, he's a public figure and uh, he would have seen the uh, the um, what's it called the uh, the claim that they're making here yeah, the uh, whatever I can't remember the papers that he's been given. 
Um, so they can do it that way. We have seen that done before. Uh, four more channels until we have seven, but only one channel can rule them all, uh, says Wookie. Uh, <laughs> Market Valley's in house as well. Woo uh, member for six months. A big thank you to Market Valley uh, for your support for six months. That's amazing. And uh, yeah, I see the I see the uh, the peppers there, the hot red peppers. Nice one there. And uh, so thank you so much for your support. Uh, who else is there? Archie in the house. Hi all, joining a bit late. Uh, never too late there, Archie. And uh, great to see you jump in there. I don't know whether there's any updates in Discord because I actually haven't been in Discord. We might check that out later on uh, in case Archie's posted some uh, updates. Uh, Garuda says, wrap uh, uh, Bitcoin on Pulse Chain to the moon. Yeah, that's moving up too. Over $52, I think, last time I saw it. Uh, Tim Dop as well. What's up? Hey, TikTok, good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Uh, who else has jumped in here? Uh, Mecca says, uh, or Christian says, I'm impressed with uh, Bitcoin, uh, how it is performing once again, this time with way less liquidity, says Christian. Yeah, uh, everything seems to be going up on the uh, Tropa. Good news there for those top coins. Um, Tony D says, dump my PLSX for some rap Bitcoins, says Tony D. Uh, hopefully you uh, make make positive on that trade there, Tony D. Um, Pulse X and PLS are finite tokens, says Christian. They are indeed. Who else has jumped in here? Let's jump back down here. We've got lots of cool comments. Just scrolling right down here. Uh, Harry Williams looks pretty excited. Yo, yo, yo. Good to see you, Harry. Uh, we've got DJ and Hexkin as well. Superman, lots of hearts. I appreciate that, DJ. Thanks very much. We've got about 50 people watching at the moment, so a big welcome to all of you. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell, of course. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we've got the, we're streaming to three channels now. Uh, just added a new channel and, of course, called it Pulse Chain. That's rebranded from our old uh, BitFury account. And, uh, yeah, so we're doing lots of more Pulse Chain com uh, short clips and stuff like that on the channel and things like that. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely smash the subscribe button on that one uh, up in the chat there. Avalian says, RH passing our ammo to the other SEC targets. Good to see. Building a community of communities, a united front. Absolutely. Well said. Uh, where is that channel, by the way? I just posted it up the top here. Let me just uh, find that. Uh, where did I post it? Uh, that one there. So that is the channel there. That if you want to go subscribe to that, um, only uh, well, not was eighteen subscribers away. So we can get up five hundred. That'd be perfect. Uh, that reaches one of the two uh, monetization standards, and then of course, uh, system out about watch hours after that. All right, uh, let's go back into uh, the uh, price discoveries. Uh, this is the uh, my list at the moment of top PRC twenties. So uh, on the 10th of May uh, 20, this year, <laughs> 2023, uh, Pulse Chain forked uh, Ethereum. It was the first full system state fork of Ethereum. It was also uh, technically the biggest airdrop of all time in crypto. Uh, and of course, we're in price discovery for all the, all the fork copies over on Pulse Chain. Uh, and uh, we have seem to have some sort of uh, uh, magical contract, the Atrope contract, which is uh, uh, now running itself. And of course, we've had uh, a big movement in some of the uh, other other tokens like Dai, Rap Bitcoin, and things like that. And there's quite a big, strong shared narrative and community building around a lot of these uh, tokens at the moment, particularly P Dai. Uh, so it's been fun to watch uh, this price discovery. So let's look at Tropa at the moment. Uh, Tropa there. Look at that chart. Looking pretty, pretty good. So obviously, since the news this is the four hourly chart, by the way, uh, since the news here, we must have been down at about seven tenths of a penny. Uh, we're pretty much heading up towards one tenth of a penny. Uh, for Tropa, which is pretty cool. This is Tropa versus a die, and it's up still up 70% for the last 24 hours. So it really has been some of the exciting uh, uh, tokens being priced up on the old Pulse chain. Uh, PDI, of course, uh, which has a huge uh, online community on Twitter now, uh, and uh, they have their own meetings and discussions of theories around a Tropa and die and things like that, uh, and track all the data. Uh, and, of course, we can see that actually that's doing pretty well as well. We we're at one-tenth of a penny, uh, we managed to, we dip all the way back down quite aggressively down to triple zero three five and then all the way back up here to uh, uh, 1500th of a penny. So uh, uh, the, it's got to beat out this previous high here back on the 17th. And that was at uh, 2200th of a penny. That's where it's got to beat. And then, of course, uh, the next kind of natural target after that, I guess, is one penny, um, which would be quite something for, uh, you know, uh, P, a P die, which is not actually backed by any other collateral. Um, so really, it's a shared narrative and potentially uh, maybe there's some mechanisms related to this atropa uh, people are talking about. So uh, there we are at the moment. 
uh, and on the way up. So what is the upside to that? So the upside to the all-time high is about 43% still from here. Uh, the upside to uh, the one penny is around about 540%. So we're going to watch out and see whether they can do it. Certainly interesting. It's got to bring in some volume like this, you know, get some more volume. But the volume is picked up a little bit there. Be watching today to see how we get on there at the moment. Now, it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to keep going up that way. Uh, but, yeah, having a good go at the moment would be uh, pretty fun to see. We'll be watching after that. Uh, yesterday's candle wasn't too bad looking either for a move higher. Uh, so we'll be watching out for that. Uh, Rat Bitcoin, of course, is also not doing too bad. It's up 7%. And it's back up at $54. Uh, that is the wrap Bitcoin. You can see that that's actually not backed by wrap Bitcoin, of course, but there is a shared narrative and all that. And of course, we've had two good days and uh, we've got a pretty similar looking chart to the PDI in terms of uh, the bullishness here. So we'll be seeing whether it can uh, you know, break a bit higher uh, on this one as well. $75 maybe. Let's see what it can do. At the moment, not too bad on those. So those are the top liquidity pools. We look by uh, the actual percentage return. We've got Aave up there at the moment is up 32%, Uni is up 23%, uh, and then we've got a Tropa and Dive course, uh, OKB, oh, that's got no liquidity in that one, uh, but those are kind of the leaders at the moment on the top PRC20, so certainly a lot of fun watching those uh, move. Uh, moving to Ming coins, of course, uh, we've got 9-inch decks, we're expecting that to come, and uh, that could, uh, we've got three tokens, of course, where the ETH go, uh, Paul Pleb, and of course, Pulse Dodge, those are the three Coins that are part of the nine inch uh, Dex teams, uh, they founded them. Um, so we're going to look to see whether they have some major rally because they should get uh, the incentive token BBC token, which is the incentive token for the nine inch Dex. $16 million sack price for that. And we may see some fun there. Now, they did post out, uh, someone posted out here, uh, Engine Gold here. Maybe they're in the team. Uh, Custom Medallion by Ingold, who's next. And they did some nice little nine inch uh, uh, little medallions there. Look at that. Nine inch there. I thought that was pretty cool. I had to mention that today. Uh, but look at that, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, is that a rabbit or something? I'm not even sure what that is, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, look at that. Uh, eggplant, isn't it? Um, and nine inch. Oh, I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, so I had to mention that today. All right, so uh, looking good there at the moment. Of course, best performer is where did the ETH go on my list? This is my meme list. Uh, it excludes uh, Peppy and Shiv, of course, which is on the top PRC20 list, um, but doing pretty well. Uh, we've got uh, Paul Pleb there as well, up 11%. Uh, where the ETH go, though, that's up pretty decent, 26%. Look at that, looking good there. And, uh, yeah, uh, the 9-inch deck's got to be getting close, right? Got to be getting close. Uh, and assuming that their final audits went through fine, uh, we could have a launch any time coming up, from what I can tell. Uh, Pulse Dodge, I think, is probably the relatively best buyer. The liquidity's pretty thin. Uh, let me just go back out of there. Let me find the bigger liquidity. Uh, so liquidity's got 25K in Pulse Dodge, uh, but there's less owners on this, and the price has already started to move a little bit here of the bottom. And we're at 0029, so just under three tenths of a penny uh, for Pulse Dodge, but there's not that many owners on the Pulse Chain side. Now, remember, Nine Inch is going to be launching on both Ethereum and Pulse Chain, um, so it's going to be fun. And there's different amount of uh, token supplies uh, for all these three main coins on both chains, so they're different. So it makes for some interesting, uh, interesting play there. All right, uh, that is pretty much it on that. Let's jump over to the Pulse Chain projects. Um, is our last category, category number four. And uh, well, we've got one, two other categories, but we're not going to be talking about them. Uh, maybe we'll talk about Coast. We might talk about the stable coin. Uh, water at the moment is the best performer, up 39%. Uh, Pulse Reflections is up 38%. Uh, and these are a list of all the project teams that I'm aware of uh, on the Pulse chain. Uh, Internet Money, the, the wallet, native wallet to Pulse chain is up 22%. Uh, seed and Water are all part of, the, part of the TRH ecosystem. That's up 9%. Uh, Time Dividend is part of the Internet Money Wallet. So both of those are doing pretty well today, up 4.5%. Uh, Pulse N, which has been rallying the last couple of days, is just cooling off a little bit there. That's up 4%. Uh, Hocus Pocus Finance is up 4%. Uh, Tetra is up 3% there. So some modest gains in those ones as well. Uh, PHUX there as well. The Forker Balancer up 3% uh, on that. So those are some of the leaders there uh, at the moment. And uh, let's have a quick look at the uh, game fire, just for TRH in, in, a, in an easier way. Uh, see that water is really the standout and seed up a little bit there, but water is really moving today. So that's kind of the standout for TRH, which got fixed up by uh, Jacob and the team and compensations were paid. Apparently there's the NFT, the OG NFT still coming up uh, to be airdropped. But apart from that, that is looks like look pretty good. Now, if you have any questions about that, you can always get into our Discord. 
uh, on Hex Token Discord and get into the chat there. And Archie, one of our moderators, is an expert in uh, the TRH system. We can talk to you all about it, which may be a point where I can check out and see what he's actually got up and if he's actually posted anything today. Let me just open up Discord here. And check this out. One moment caller, uh, as we say. One moment caller. Uh, let's see who else has jumped in here with any other comments. Before we do that, <laughs> I, I was trying to go to the comments and then uh, uh, then, then I opened up uh, the Discord. So look in here. Uh, no, 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 no. That's uh, pretty much it. Uh, yeah, if you've got, uh, if you want to do some fiat on ramping as well to Pulse Chain, you can use Coast. And I'm sure that uh, if you want to get 5,000 free weight tokens, uh, you can use uh, uh, Brian's referral. I'm sure he'll post it in the in the chat there. But also, uh, don't forget that um, uh, it is in the video description as well. We've got lots of cool, useful links in the video description. The other thing, cool thing in our Discord, if you want to find a way of uh, buying and selling and you're a bit confused about what's where you can buy and sell uh, on Pulse Chain or on Ethereum, uh, you can check our useful links. We've got all, we just did an update of all our useful links in there. Uh, and uh, you can go use those very, very friendly. And I retweeted it out, uh, was it yesterday or the day before, uh, all the links there for on-chain and cross-chain, uh, which is pretty neat. All right, uh, let's jump away to the, just quickly have a look at the coast on stable coins. Now, at the moment, we have one stable coin, right? We have the fiat back one from coast, and uh, we're going to have uh, three native stable coins uh, very shortly. Uh, we're going to have uh, two based on collateralization, uh, and that is on pulp based on colorizing pulse and pulse x uh, with liquid loans and the power city earn protocol they're coming up they'll be launching after the fetch oracle goes live uh, and so uh, we're looking forward to that but at the moment uh, we've got the coast stable coin and uh, we can see it's actually at a dollar at the moment so it's pegged at a dollar nice that's kind of cool uh, so this yellow line is the dollar line uh, we can see that it's actually pegged at a dollar uh, very, very cool. The biggest liquidity pool on Pulsex is 77k, but of course, uh, PHUX has a much bigger liquidity pool, and that brings us up the coast there, and so if you want to use Brian's uh, referral link, uh, I'm sure he'll post it in the chat and also in the video description, I believe, as well. I think I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so, the coast has now got uh, this uh, wrapped USDC. Uh, that is a stable coin. Stable swap pool on PHUX. Remember, PHUX is a fork of balancer, and it has a superior uh, mathematical formula for doing stablecoin swaps uh, closer to one to one, basically. Uh, Pulse Chain's first native stablecoin, and of course, uh, you can see liquidity up at 700k there now already on the TVL. Uh, that is USDC and CST there, nice. So uh, it is building liquidity, and of course, they're targeting initially about 50 million dollars uh, to onboard onto Pulse Chain, and of course, it's just starting to grow, really, just starting to ramp up. So it's really exciting to see that. Uh, slowly and surely uh, uh, growing. So very, very cool on the, on the coast there. So if you want to fear on-ramp, uh, I would definitely suggest using coast. Uh, it's opened up to about 27 countries now. Uh, so definitely something that you guys can all think about there and you can sign up. So pretty, pretty neat. We might go through the countries again on another day, but you can check it all out on coast um, if you want to see that. So very cool. Let me uh, just post the Coast Twitter there. Uh, that is the Twitter. I'm sure you can get it through as well. So Coast. And uh, yeah, they're live in so many countries now. It is crazy good, crazy good uh, on all that. Uh, which also brings us, I just want to quickly talk about TYZZ, which is a project coming up. Uh, TYZZ, of course, is going to be launching on BNB. It's uh, an upgraded form of TYRH protocol by Jacob. Uh, obviously the founder of uh, BNB Pot and uh, in the future Pulse Pot uh, and of course many other things that utilities that he's put onto Pulse Chain. Uh, but uh, this is coming up and uh, we've got just gone to nine days left. So there's nine days left on this. Uh, the bonus is still 9% at the moment. It started off at 25%, so it's down at 9%. So it goes down by 1% per day. Uh, it's ticking away at the moment. There's $811,000 in the lobby. Uh, it's still, the price is still uh, $1. will get you 985 TYZZ at the moment. That goes down with how many people come into the pool, of course, uh, because there's a fixed supply of 800 million TYZ allocated to people. There's going to be 1, 1 billion in total. Uh, still 352 times, 352% cheaper than TRH equivalent on the Pulse Chain side. Uh, and of course, uh, at the moment, that is the ratio that you're getting. Now you can uh, basically uh, you, you basically send crypto to this wallet, and you will get credited with your TYCZ, uh, and uh, you can send uh, crypto from any of these uh, chains, Ethereum, 
Pulse Chain or BNB. So it doesn't really matter which one you're on. Pulse Chain obviously very easy for most of us who use Pulse Chain most of the time. Uh, and of course, all the utilities are there. They're going to be make the superior version of uh, of a TRH because they've got a lot, you know, obviously lots of new stuff in there at the moment. You'll also get a 10 cent bonus if you use a referral code. Um, so I'll post the referral code link in the chat there if you want to get in there. Uh, while it's still up at a decent sort of uh, percentage, you're getting nine percent and uh, 10 cent bonus. Well, that is pretty much it on that. So if you want to still get in there, that is something for you to consider. Uh, that is the link there, just posting it on Pulse Chain there. All right. Uh, very cool. Superman Crypto. Look at that. Three channels there, all kicking away at the moment. So very cool. Welcome to everybody. Grow on Pulse Chain. That is the main game. All right. Uh, now, there'll be some synergies between Pulse Chain and BNB, I'm sure. So we're looking out for that as well. Uh, that's going to bring us up to, what time is it now? Uh, 12.22. So it's going to bring up the Hex, Hex Daily Stats. Uh, we're going to wait for day 1375, which does seem to be up for Pulse Chain, so we're going to talk about that. What we do with the Hex Daily Stats, Hex.com. Check it out, Hex.com, and um, need to add that in the video descriptions. I'll look to do that, too. Uh, let's see who else has jumped in the chat. Uh, busy old busy days. We head into the weekend, right? We're all heading into the weekend. Uh, it's already Friday here, and well, I guess it's not the weekend for people in North America. It's still Thursday evening, um, but uh, down under here, it is already Friday. Uh, it, almost uh, midday. Is it midday? No, this past midday, 12.23 p.m. in the afternoon on Friday, the 8th of September. Uh, pretty crazy. Uh, who else is in here? Uh, passive income cash flow. There's so many Pulse Chain platforms that are bullish. Absolutely. Uh, it's just, we were just really warming up here. Really, really is cool. Uh, we've got Brian in the house as well. Woo good to see you, Brian. Uh, SparkSwap and Pulse Drip are one of uh, bullish. I tried uh, in Pulse Chain, yeah. I will quickly talk about that, actually, because I haven't talked enough about uh, that uh, that project. Uh, so let me just pull that up. We'll just quickly talk about those RRI type of yield farming platforms. Uh, let me just go to Pulse Chain projects. And uh, let's talk about that briefly. Uh, I'll keep that post up there, actually. Uh, let's go there. And... Uh, oh. <laughs> I started that one accidentally. All right, so uh, yeah, we've got uh, this, uh, where is it here? We've got, um, where's it gone? Has it gone down? Yeah, is it? Uh, Spock Swap, it's down at the bottom at the moment. Uh, so yeah, they had a, quite a good rally. Went up to a dollar, a dollar 21. Uh, it's just come back to under a dollar three. Uh, they've got a bit of a me mechanism uh, designed to try and keep that the price up uh, where you don't actually sell your Spark token. That's kind of the key. Uh, you can put it into a, a one of their products called Sparkle. Um, and uh, let me just pull that up, actually. I think I've got that. Uh, what do I call it? Spark, spark Swap. Uh, yeah, so I've got that. So uh, they've got uh, they've got these farms, right? So there's farms. In the farms, you have taxes. So if you go down to the bottom of the details, uh, you have these little, uh, not on, this is the main one, right? Spark Pulse. Uh, the APR is 100, over 1,000%, but of course, the price of Spark could go up or down, right? Uh, how do you hold the price of Spark up without it going down over time? Like, you know, maybe the first three or four weeks, it holds up quite high, but then it gets sold against you. So any return you, you're making, uh, you're losing capital value, right? So if the price of Spark goes down. Now, obviously, with the high return, you're expecting a lot of people to buy Spark, uh, but eventually, some point in time, people are uh, selling the yield. So how do you stop people selling the yield? Well, you've got to encourage them to do other stuff. And, of course, they've got this, uh, you've got other farms as well. So you've got Pulse X, Pulse Farm, Die Pulse, et cetera. Excuse me. They've all got different yields on them, but the is issue uh, with these other part pools is they actually have taxes on the way in. So there's deposit and withdrawal fee taxes. Uh, they call it a fee, of course, uh, two percent on all these other ones. So uh, there is a bit of that going on as well. So people have to stay in for at least a day uh, or two days to get to even cover the fee entry fee, for example. Uh, and of course, when you earn Spark, everyone's earning Spark. So normally you'd sell Spark down. So it's kind of uh, counter counterbalancing there. And uh, your capital value can go down despite the high yield that you're earning. Uh, so they've got this thing called Sparkle, Sparkler, right? So uh, the idea is that you put your Spark in here and you don't sell it. And so then you earn this nice return and you get a share of the Spark uh, PLS and L uh, LP. So you get some LP instead. Uh, and the idea is that, yeah, you don't sell down the Spark, though. You can sell down the Pulse uh, and keep the Spark. So that's kind of the idea uh, to try and hold up this project. So that is kind of the the uh, the answer to that one. Um on there, yeah. The other one, of course, is Pulse Drip. Um, Pulse Drip here. Uh, that's the other one. Uh, another one here. 
um, that has been playing around. So they got the dashboard here. They've got 715 people have taken up their product of the faucet. Faucets in here as well. This is the faucet here. Uh, there's only a limited amount of faucets here. 5,000. This did pretty well on BNB chain. Remember, uh, they've got teams as well. You can make your own team and, and get people to come into it. So it's got a little bit of a, a pyramidic type of structure to it. It's got a swap feature, of course, and it's got a garden uh, product as well with LP. Uh, deposit fee is used to buy back P trip. So it's got that. It's also got in the tokenomics a whole ton of different type of uh, taxes in it uh, to try to keep the system robust over time. Typically, the price will hold up a P drip for you know a couple of months, then slowly as yield comes out, despite the taxes, it tends to go down over time. So there's a few things to think about uh, with those, but those are a couple. Uh, another one that we saw that did pretty well is a pulse rate. Uh, pulse rate, of course, uh, was very exciting at the beginning. Um, and I actually like some of the products. Unfortunately, uh, it's inevitable, you know, the price has gone down. It's been that, that uh, the P share price was, uh, which is the asset, it's got multi tokens, right? It's got the Prate token. It's got the P share token. Uh, it also has a bond in it as well, uh, which is only activated uh, under certain circumstances. But the P, the P share rate is down to $87. That used to be over $4,000. Uh, so just remember that. Uh, the liquidity used to be well over $4 million. Uh, TVL, it's now at $328,000. So, so, you know, there is different risks with these ROI yield farming uh, swapping projects. And, of course, they have other features like games and things something like that as well. So you just have to be mindful of the profile uh, that, that maybe the first week, first four weeks, it'll do well. But then after that, it gets pretty, you know, the prices can start to be sold off. Uh, and of course, your capital value can go down. So you've got to remember that with the, uh, despite the attractive yields. That's assuming that the projects are all safe, right? So that is the play there at the moment on these. Uh, you can see, yeah, uh, pretty interesting. Now, I do actually like some, like some of this, I like some of the product stuff, but you've just got to be realistic about uh, how long the price can hold up. So I just wanted to go through that. So uh, there we are. I don't know if you thought I was going to cover all those passive income cash flow, <laughs> but there we are. We did it. We did it. All right. <laughs> there we are. Uh, uh, what else we got here? Brian says, uh, give a like and subscribe to the new channel. Pulse Chain. Yeah, Pulse Chain YouTube. Check that out. Uh, what else there? Brennan says uh, over 11,000 subs across the three three channels. Uh, I think it's uh, over 10,000. 10,000. Or it's probably about 10,200 on the three channels. So, yeah, we're going to grow them all. Uh, over time uh the other ones are less gate kept as well uh, particularly the superman crypto uh compared to hex tokens quite gate kept by youtube algorithms uh, you know they rock and roll uh, uh wiki's in house you found my hiding place a nice one there yeah, i did indeed uh yeah almost over ten thousand. says brian that's correct uh i'll have to add you guys as moderators over on the uh, pulse chain channel uh, as we build it up there's a discord link if you guys want to join discord whatever channel you're on superman crypto Pulse Chain YouTube or uh, Hex Token, uh, check it out. Um, and definitely, uh, that is Brian's uh, weight, uh, is, is referral code uh, for the Coast Fiat on ramp to Pulse Chain. So definitely use that if you can. You get 5,000 weight tokens. For, so that's pretty easy. Um, uh, Archie says, not too much for TRH today. Uh, the day one, 55 day stakes are coming out to, uh, today. So we'll see a bit of selling. So just take that into account. Uh, day one, 55 day stakes are coming out today. We'll see what they do. Brian is still uh, two behind number second place. So two more referrals and Brian will get up to number second spot on the referral list behind Crypto Coffee, the famous uh, influencer in Pulse Chain. Um, we got Blair as well in the house there. Hi, all good to see you, Blair. Um, and I got Archie in the house, man. Second member that's uh, been posted up here. Uh, we've got Archie there. Member for five months. Woohoo! Thanks for all you do, sir. Hey, you're welcome, Archie. And likewise, thank you for what all you do as well. Uh, and great, appreciate the support of the channel. Thank you very, very much. So that's two people today. We've had uh, Machiavelli and we've had Archie as well, uh, two long term members of the channel. Uh, big shout out to you. Now, if you want to join and support the channel, hit the join button. And we've got uh, on Hex Token, we've got Polskins, Hexkins, and then Richard Hart Club. Uh, on uh, Superman Crypto, we've got other channels. I can't remember what they are. Uh, Pulse Chain uh, YouTube won't have any memberships until it gets monetized. Um, so uh, you'll have to wait and wait for that one. All right. Uh, we've got Blair SM in house as well on fire. No problem. And Sandy Big says, thank you, Hex Token. And you're most welcome as well. All right. Let's get into uh, Hex.com, folks. Check it out. Hex.com. Uh, you can buy Hex and on Pulse Chain or on Ethereum. And you can then uh, burn it and swap it for T shares and start mining some Hex. Uh, you get your principal and the rewards back when your 
uh, when your hex mining uh, CD matures, uh, and you can do multiple uh, multiple mining uh, CDs, and of course uh, have a nice little what we call mining ladder. How about that? Did I put all that together pretty well. I think so. That was not bad. All right, uh, let's go back up here. We've changed all our language, you see. All right, so uh, hex on pulse chain, uh, the seventh of of uh, September. Uh, we're at the price there, just over eight tenths of a, uh, of a penny. Uh, we're down 2.4% for the day. Uh, the T-share uh, payouts is the main thing that we look at every day. is 6.597x per T-share, uh, looking pretty good, up from yesterday. Uh, the share rate is up 4.4% to 29,191. So this kind of reflects compound interest and uh, just basically means that uh, long uh, people that sh uh, mine for shorter periods of time uh, don't uh, get a better return than people that mine longer period of time. Uh, so earlier pays better in uh, getting T-shares, uh, longer pays better, you get 20% more T-shares uh, per year that you are mining, and of course a bigger pays better, uh, up to 10 years that is, and for bigger pays better, up to 150, uh, up to 10% uh, for up to 150 million X uh, that you uh, decide to mine with. So uh, it's uh, longer pays better, and bigger pays better are the really big mechanisms, but of course the share rate's going up all the time, so really earlier pays better as well. Uh, average mine length 6.98 years is the average mine length on Pulse Chain. 38% is uh, the APY for the existing miners, which is pretty attractive. And of course, the T shares are down 30,000 today. Uh, we're down 9,835,000. That's a pretty big down day. Maybe we'll see it go back in tomorrow. We'll be watching for that. Uh, the 9.53% uh, of all hexes locked on the Pulse Chain. Pretty modest penalties, only 200,000. Uh, the reward pool is uh, just under 65 million hex distributed to those with T shares in the ownership pool. And of course, uh, liquid holders are up 10, uh, miners are down 1, and we're seeing 124,067 miners on the uh, pulse chain uh, for hex. Isn't that cool? Uh, which is pretty neat. And we've also got uh, hex on uh, Ethereum just come out as well. Uh, same date, 7th of September. Uh, price is just under 4 tenths of a penny, but is up 1.9%. We've had five increases there. Look at that. Five little, I said it was just slowly sort of grinding its way up. Look at that. Uh, every day it's up a little bit there. Uh, we've got the payout for T-share is 6.627 on Ethereum. Uh, the dot date and the share rate, so no change in that. The average mine length is longer on Ethereum. It's 7.08 years uh, compared to the Pulse Chain side. And, of course, HEX APY is slightly higher, 39% there too. Uh, we'll jump through the, the uh, liquidity pool. That's the liquidity pool for EHEX. Uh, we've got the T-shares are down pretty dramatic as well, like a Pulse Chain, 32,281. Uh, we're sitting at 9,793,000. Uh, 9, so that's the first time that we've been below 9.8 million T-shares on the Pulse Chain here uh, for a long time, since it's ever been up. Uh, we used to have over 11 million T-shares, so that give you that bit of perspective there. Uh, that's a pretty significant. So uh, if you're in the ownership pool on Ethereum, man, you are becoming more special from that point of view. Uh, remember, the share rate's only going to go up, 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 and away, especially in November of the 22nd, when we're expecting it to jump by 1,400 hex per t -share. So getting your hex earlier pays better uh, and become part of that cool, cool pool. Now, 9.33% uh, of all hex is locked on Ethereum. Uh, pretty modest penalties like on Pulse Chain, 222,000. The reward pools has got under 65 million hex in it for those that have got T-shares. And, of course, the uh, current holders, no change, and liquid holders uh, down four on the miners. So we have been sending a slow little... Uh, last 40 days, uh, the miners have been slowly just drip, dropping off a few. So uh, the, the ownership pool there, the miners, 120,193. So uh, that is the total there. So it's about a 4,000 uh, difference on Pulse Chain versus uh, Ethereum for miners. But of course, uh, the Ethereum is the Genesis uh, Genesis uh, uh, contract for Hex. So uh, we've just jumped on to day 1,376 for Ethereum and uh, day 119 for Pulse Chain. So uh, Hex.com, folks, check it out. And if you've got any questions, jump into our Discord, of course. Not financial advice, do your own due diligence. Uh, but if you have any questions, get into our Discord and uh, you can ask. We have a Pulse Chain or Crypto Helpline. People can ask questions about. And uh, it's probably pretty unique out of any 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 place that any community in the Pulse Chain Hex community uh, that offers uh, uh, the opportunity to get questions answered. So how about that? All right. Uh, that is Hex.com. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Let's jump over to, uh, let's jump over to the... Uh, the top ERC, ERC 20s, and let's have a look at this die at the moment because die has been really doing some special things, uh, along with the Tropa. And look at that at 0015. So it's, uh, it's fun to watch. I like this stuff, as you guys know, it's always fun. Uh, and uh, Blair's in the house there with the lit. Yeah, look in the lit there for sure. We got Brent Staker in the house there. Hey, buddy, good to see you, Brent. Welcome to the chat. 
Wiki says there's no more V1 and V2 showing on Pulsex. Uh, <laughs> did you miss my whole... I just talked about that at the beginning of the live stream, Wookie. You might have to go back. You might have to go back. All right. Uh, <laughs> that is pretty much how we rock and roll. So here's some nice news from Richard Hart today. Lots of tweets from Richard Hart today. Uh, good news around Pulsex, of course, uh, with the... Um, with the auto routing now over the V1, V2, I think that's going to make it a lot easier for a lot of people. They just have to make sure they toggle on uh, the auto routing. And like I said, uh, just for Wookie, Wookie's sake, uh, when you go to Pulsex, uh, you can uh, you can go up to the little little cogs. These are this little cog up the top of you. Hit that and make sure. Uh, it'll probably look like that when you get to there with nothing toggled on. Uh, you need to toggle on the auto router there. Click that on. And uh, that's the way you go, and it will be on. So we need to go to buy something. It's going to get you the best rate of boss across both V1 and V2. Um, so those are two different versions of Pulsex. They have different pools in them and for different trading pairs, and one's more efficient than the other. And so the auto routing is going to find you the most efficient pair, right? So you just click on the, the down button there, click that, and you'll be able to see how it's routing through. Uh, sometimes it may be uh, routing through V1 and V2 like we saw earlier. That's pretty much it. So that's good news. It's an approved product offering there as well. Now, some people are still waiting for limit orders, and some people are still waiting for the single side staking pools. Uh, and the single side staking pools may the market may react to that very bullishly. Uh, we will see, and maybe that will uh, uh, drive up uh, Pulse X and uh, the incentive ratio as well. Uh, we will see, and maybe Pulse Chain too. We will see. Fingers crossed on that. All right. Uh, I, yeah, we got Liquid Lines and Power City coming up. Uh, they are really super bullish for Pulse X and Pulse. Uh, they will be collateralizing polls, so uh, I'm looking forward to those uh, big time. Those are the ones that are really, really exciting. All right, we're up to now in two minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A uh, big welcome, uh, of course, to uh, Pulse YouTube. I'll be slowly building that channel up. Uh, we'll be live streaming on that channel every day as well, um, so looking good. If you're over there, you are following uh, that channel on Betfury. We're now covering Pulse Chain and other topics like that on that channel. Um, so definitely uh, subscribe, hit the like button, leave your comments, and uh, if you want any information, I'll be updating the video descriptions there too. All right, I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Uh, let us uh, play out some music. I'll jump into Discord, of course. We'll be popped in there later on as too. And uh, we're going to play out some cool videos on the way out. What should we play? I think we're going to play uh, uh, this one. Let's do this. We'll play a bit of the highest of stakes. Since that is a film documentary around Hex and Pulse Chain. So mainly Hex, but uh, we'll talk about that. So let's get into it. Thank you, everybody. Bye for now. Richard Art here, welcoming you to the Highest of Stakes premiere. I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy it. These guys put blood, sweat, and tears for years into this project. Wasn't my idea. Didn't have anything to do with the production. Didn't have anything to do with anything. I was just in a bunch of scenes. Yay. I'm a movie star. No, uh, I'm a clown. The me that you see in this film died, so enjoy it. Humble me is what exists now. What I wished that uh, everyone would get is that there's only a few things in this world that can really change man's relationship with government, man's relationship with money, man's relationship with his time. Right now, we've got the highest inflation we've had since I've been alive, and that's 43 years now. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And we've got banks collapsing, and we've got bailouts and all of the things that people predicted would come true that are the reason that cryptocurrency was invented are happening. You know, there's certain countries that you may not have been to that this is life or death for them. You know, high inflation uh, countries where their money is worth, you know, half as much at the end of the next year as it is this year. Is Richard Hart. Genius. Legendary. The arrogant. Bit of a narcissist. The benevolent king. Quarter million. Hate me. Hate me. I'm farther than you'll ever be in your whole life.
Whatever the governments have been doing, it's not worked out. You've never had worse interest rates. Your money has never been worth less. And the only thing that's making it better is cryptocurrency. Crypto is money without governments, and it is money without banks. You're not going to meet another product like this as long as you live. Yes, every scammer in the world is going to tell you something similar. Good morning, everyone. Are you ready to look for some fraud this morning? They are promising 40% annual return. Everything I have worked for is staked in Hex. Good. I put it all in. All of what? All of our house money. No, I don't think that it's a scam. Because I trust Richard Hart. If ultimately this is all a big performance art project, people are going to get fucked. So that You're lucky it works at all. I should trust you. Uh, listen, I think you should trust me, but if you get into the habit of trusting people like me, you'll get the crap scammed out of you.